So you can see I was able to export this to Roblox and this animation that I created in Moon Animator, I will be able to use it again in the future. So you've just completed working on an animation in Moon Animator 2. You're going to want to export that animation. So in order to do that, you can go up to item and then click on export all. You'll also notice when we were doing the shortcuts that if you just press number five at any time when you're in Moon Animator, that will export it. So you might want to watch, make sure you don't hit the number five button a lot. I'll show you why. So if I press five, you can see it exported it over here into the Explorer on the right hand side. Let's say I press five again, it's going to do it again. So just watch how many times you press the number five and keep track of where you are with that animation. And once you have that in your Explorer tab, I'm gonna go ahead and make this a little wider. So you can see that it has that Moon Animator export. And then uh, depending on how many things you have in your animation, there might be multiple dropdowns here. So in order to save that to your Roblox account, what you wanna do is just press any of these, right click there, and then you're gonna to wanna to click Save to Roblox. And so for this one, I'll just say test three, animation tutorial, and you can have a description if you need it. This is mostly for you. And then you can press the creator. And if you're in a group, you might be able to click some of the group members, but right now it's just me. And then I'm just gonna click on submit. And then it'll say successfully submitted. And then you can find your asset in your toolbox or on the web, and then you can click that if you want. Uh, when you click that, it just takes you to your Roblox account, you can see there's my test three animation tutorial. If you would like to get the most out of Moon Animator 2, I just released a free mini course on how to make amazing animations using Roblox Studio. You will learn useful tools within Moon Animator 2 that you might not have known about, and you will learn ways to save time when making your animations. The link for the free mini course is in the description below. And let's say I wanted to import that to this rig. So once you bring a rig into Roblox, you can then, and then of course, bring that into Moon Animator. You have the rig here, and let's go ahead and just delete these so that you can see this is gonna work. So I deleted those. Now I'm gonna click on this rig, and right here you'll notice there's a little icon. It says import to rig. So you find your rig, and again, you, you might need to drop down whatever you need to do. And then right next to rig, you'll see import to rig. There's always little buttons. Uh, that one, you wanna click that, and then you can, you can do presets uh, but the presets are from Roblox and you see there's different things you can do, which is pretty nice. If you're looking for any of these basics, it gives you some basic ones to choose from. Actually, what you want to do is click on set import and you'll see these are the assets that you can import from your account. So here's the test animation tutorial right there. You might see an icon there as well. So I'm just going to press submit and then okay. And then you can see it imported that Im animation. So if I press space, there's that animation that we created earlier. And so you can attach that animation now to any rig. So if I were to bring in a different rig, I do the same thing. I, I take that character's rig and then I press import to rig. So you can see how powerful it is to save your animations, export them, and then load them to your Roblox account and then keep them organized so that you can reuse them when needed. You now know how to export your animation that you created in Moon Animator 2, as well as import that back into Roblox if you would like to use it in the future. I have other Roblox Studio tutorials available. I'll put links to them around this video. If you enjoyed this, please like and subscribe. I thank you and I'll see you in the next video.